the students we have seen in orifice meter the coefficient of discharge as well as coefficient of contraction and we have seen the equation of discharge for orifice meter now let us solve problems on orifice meter regarding these two concepts so we have over here a orifice meter having orifice diameter of 15 cm is inserted in a pipe of 30 cm the pressure gauge is fitted in the downstream and upstream of the orifice reads 14.71 as well as 9.8 9.81 respectively find the flow rate in liters per second cd is equals to 0.6 take the specific gravity of oil is 0.85 so now over here let us see what is the data given to us the data is diameter of the orifice d0 is given to us as 0.15 meter or 15 centimeter the diameter of the pipe is equals to 30 centimeters whereas coefficient of discharge is 0.6 and the specific gravity of oil is equals to 0.85 so the density of oil is 0.85 times 1000 so this is 850 kg per meter cube along with that the initial pressures and the final pressures are specified so p1 is given to us as a 14.715 into 10 to power 4 newton per meter square and p2 is equals to 9.81 into 10 to power 4 newton per meter square so these two values are given to us so now let us solve over here this problem and calculate the discharge so we have to calculate the discharge over here so we know discharge q is equals to cd into a0 into a1 into square root of 2gh upon the square root of a1 square minus a0 square so this is what we have to calculate over here so first a0 is equals to pi by 4 into t0 d0 square so this is pi by 4 into 15 square so this will give us 176.7 centimeter square a1 is equals to pi by 4 into d0 square that is d1 square over here so this is pi by 4 into 30 the whole square is equals to 706 point eight five centimeter square so that is value of a1 similarly the value of h is equals to p1 minus p2 upon rho g plus z1 minus z2 so both these values are zero considering a vertical orifice meter so h will be equals to P1 minus P2 upon rho g so that is a 14.715 minus 9.81 into 10 to power 4 upon rho that is equals to 850 into g that is equals to 9.81 so we have calculated the value of h which comes out to be 5.88 meters or 588 588.23 centimeters so note that we'll solve this entirely in centimeter square and we'll get the discharge in centimeter cube per second so let us substitute those values over here so q will be equals to q is equals to cd into a0 into a1 a square root of 2gh upon square root of a1 square minus a0 square so let us substitute everything in centimeters so q will be equals to 0.6 that is coefficient of discharge which they have specified to us in the problem so that is coefficient of discharge that is 0.6 over here <coughs> into a0 a0 is 176.7 into a1 that is 706.85 
into square a root of 2 into 981 into 588.23 note that we have to convert this into centimeter per second square that is acceleration due to gravity just to put this in form of meters in terms of centimeters also if we we can also solve this in terms of meter but the calculation over here will be a very big calculation since over here this term will be related to 10 raised to minus 4 this term also will be related to 10 raised to minus 4 these two terms inside will also be 10 raised to minus 4 if as a student if you are comfortable in solving in terms of meter then you no need to convert this value or else you have to convert this value <clears throat> so after substituting all the values we will get this as equals to 166.1666.707 uh, centimeter cube per second or q is equals to 1.66 liters per second so we have calculated what is value of a discharge over here as well as we have seen what is area a1 uh, a0 and value of h which was in terms of p1 minus p2 upon rho g so i hope you have understood how we have calculated the problem related to orifice meter having a different liquid as compared to water thank you